Aaron, mm -hmm. can you either pass me the remote or switch off the AC? Sure. Feels a bit, I don't know, I feel a bit frisky today. What? It's Maureen. Welcome back to my little English page. I see a few of you are already here. So hi guys. How are you? Um, so today we're going to do uh, something a little bit different. Um, as you can see, I did a little bit of a different intro, um, which hopefully introduced the topic of the lesson. Um, so, as you know, today we are going to have a look at some mistakes that I have made in my videos. The whole point of this live is to show you guys that no matter what level, people make mistakes, native speakers make mistakes, it's okay. It's all about how you handle those mistakes. So, hi guys, hi Loli, hi Nishan, hi Sheriff, who else do we have? Halid. Um, who else? Who else? Louis, how are you, Sergi? Nice to see you all, guys. All right, so, um, as you can see, after the little countdown, I added um, a bit of a video that I released a very long time ago, <laughs> uh, probably more than a year ago, uh, where I covered some of my most common mistakes. And so that little intro showed that mistake. Um, what I would like you guys to do before we actually get started is tell me if you know what was the mistake that I made in that little intro. Do you know? Have you got any idea? Hmm. Let me know in the comment section. All right, I'll be reading some of your comments for now, guys, while you let me know what the mistake was, okay? Good. All right, so I've seen some of you asking me about um, showing you how to make iced coffee. Well, Louis, to be honest, it is the easiest thing in the entire world. It's not a Starbucks style coffee that I make. I just make a regular coffee, pour some milk and add ice. That's it. <laughs> that easy. <laughs> All right. Um, what else do we have? Yeah. So a few of you asking about the, how, the, the, the iced coffee. Okay. Share if you like the countdown. Awesome. Thank you, Sharif. Yeah, this is a very colorful little... I'm not sure what, what, what I would call that. <laughs> hi, hi, Kader. All right, so Sharif, you're speaking in French. You're talking about my red beret. I know, you're wondering what that was about, huh? Well, I'm not telling you. You'll have to wait. I think... Um, that video with the red beret will either come out tomorrow or next week. I'm not sure yet, okay? Um, duck, 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 uh, okay, so Sheriff wrote the word frisky. Mm, you might be onto something there. <laughs> All right, do you want me to play it one more time? I can do that. I'm just gonna have to crop the intro, so... Uh, oh no, actually, I can just add it here, I think. Just give me a second, guys. All right, so let me just play that little intro bit again so you can listen to that mistake again. All right, so where is it? Just give me a second. This one. Here we go. Hello. Mm -hmm. Can you either pass me the remote or switch off the AC? Feels a bit, I don't know, a little bit frisky today. What? Alright, so, um, how do I come back here? I have to come back here. So, uh, yes, a lot of you guys noticed the problem is with the word frisky. Um, this is actually um, a French common mistake because um, when you're slightly cold in French, you say that you are, or it is frisqué, which sounds very similar to frisky. But um, the word that I was actually looking for is chili. Chili, because frisky, frisky has a very different meaning. It means that you want to have sex. <laughs> so that is not at all what I meant. And this is a mistake that I used to make all the time. Uh, so see, guys, you're not the only ones. We all make mistakes. Some are embarrassing. Some are funny. Some are just 
difficult to understand, but it is a very, very normal thing um, to happen. Okay, guys? Yeah, I know, there, there's a lot of, uh, of noise in that little extract of video. Um, I used to put a lot more music in my videos, but um, some of you guys commented that it was a bit difficult to hear what I was saying, so uh, now I only really keep it for intros and outros and um, with a very low volume. Um, so yeah, sorry about that, uh, Louis. That's not what I do in my videos now anymore, but I used to do that. Alright guys, so before we start, just, you know, the usual, uh, today we are going to have a look first at some pronunciation mistakes that I made in videos. Now, um, just so you know guys, you might not hear all of those mistakes. Um, sometimes what I say sounds very similar to how it should be said, um, but because I've heard those words so many times, um, I know that it's not said quite right. Um, so we'll have a look at that. Then we'll have a look at a few grammar mistakes as well. And to f all of those guys will be in my own videos, but then we will have a little um, extra sec se section with common mistakes in general, okay? All right, so, Yes, Aaron, yeah, yeah, Sheriff. Aaron looked at me and was like, what? The first time I actually said that to him, he was like, oh, what's going on? <laughs> he was very confused. <laughs> um, all right. Okay, so Anna Rita, if you want, we can have a look at that question at the end of the live. Uh, questions that are not necessarily focused on the topic. I try to keep them towards the end. That way, those of you who are interested in today's topic, you can stay and leave later if you're not interested in the Q&A. But keep that question for later, Anna. Good question. We'll have a look later, okay? Maybe we... Um, this was just a little funny video where I was showing a mistake that I made. In the video, I used the word frisky and I should have used the word chili, okay? Uh, all right, so Sheriff, I cannot add subtitles last minute, unfortunately, um, but um, try to focus on the listening aspect of it. Um, subtitles take a lot of time to add, which is why I haven't done it um, because I'm a little bit busy, but thank you for the feedback. I will try if I can in the future, okay? All right, and just before we start, guys, remember you could become one of the sponsors of the week uh, and help my little English page by just buying me a little cup of coffee. It could be an iced coffee, that's okay, I'll take it. <laughs> and you can do that at www.coffee-.com. Uh, no, co-fee.com. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's get started. We're going to focus on pronunciation first. So because it's a little bit more difficult to catch pronunciation words, you know, in the moment, I'm going to show you the words that I have mispronounced and then play a very short recording. Now, some of those recordings are extremely short. Some are like five or six seconds. Others are a little bit longer. But let's have a look at how those words, so what those words are, how they sound and how I said them, okay? Remember, it is incorrect um, in those little video clips. And remember guys, one last time, this is to show you that we all make mistakes. It doesn't matter. Um, but you'll notice that in most of the videos um, that I'm going to show you now, um, many people would not have noticed those mistakes because I just own them. I just, I continue as if. And sometimes I don't even notice I'm making those mistakes. And I think this is really good because those of you who focus constantly on you know what they're saying how they sound you're not going to reach that speed you know you're not going to be able to speak so fast because you're constantly thinking about it so it's all about being confident if you make a mistake you know what it happens that's life just go with it be confident and if you're not pretend to be confident all right guys so the first word we're going to have a look at today is people people so pay attention to how I'm saying it now. People. People. Now we're going to listen to the little clip where I said this word incorrectly. This is so weird, guys, by the way, to re-watch old videos. It's so weird. So some of you who have been here from the beginning, like Sherry, for example, um, you will that 
that will be a walk down memory lane um, and you'll guys see I've gone through so many hairstyles and, and it's it's funny so let's have a look at the first word guys so here we go um. all right well while we wait for people to come in I'm just going to let you know what we're going to do today Oh, sorry wrong here okay so I'm going to play it one more time I'm going to play it twice in a row okay so you can hear it properly and you'll see that the problem in the word is the e the people I said people I think I said a short vowel it sounds weird so let's listen one more time what twice more um. all right well while we wait for people to come in I'm just going to let you know what we're going to do today Um. All right, well, while we wait for people to come in, I'm just going to let you know what we're going to do today. All right, so did you hear how I said it? Did you hear that it was incorrect or did you not notice it? Because sometimes the difference is so small and it's not sounds that you have in your own language that you don't actually hear the difference. So I'm very curious, guys, just let me know in the comment section if you actually heard the difference between people said correctly and how I said it in the video. All right. Okay, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Heli, they said it very weirdly. Well, it's okay, Nishan, you know. Um, I My pronunciation has improved greatly as well from, you know, when I started. Um, I think I used to have a stronger French accent and I'm minimizing it little by little. So don't worry Nishan, you can get there, it just takes a bit of practice. Okay, all right, yeah, so Sergi, Sergi is saying it sounds a bit like purple. Yes, purple. <laughs> all right guys, so the next word here, this, you know what? So the word chest, chest. The problem that happened with this word is I was trying to speak, well, I wasn't trying to speak fast, but I was trying to move on to the next thing fairly quickly. And because of that, I didn't say the last letter, the last sound. I said chess, you'll hear in a second. And this is a completely different word. So let's just have a look first. Well, listen. Three. To get something off your chest. To get something off your chest. All right, did you hear it here, guys? Did you hear that? Off your chest. Chest. That's why it's so important to pronounce everything in English. Um, obviously, there are some letters that are not pronounced, but you need to make sure that you do say it because just removing that one sound made, um, made the whole word completely different. It changed the meaning. Okay, guys? Good. So, Sherry, uh, Halid heard che cheese, chess. <laughs> exactly, yes. I said chess, not chest. Very good, guys. Well done. All right, let's move on to the next one. It is this word. This word. Let's have a look at how I pronounced it. So, obviously, this is a nationality, but let's, let's listen. Big first letter. Chilean, Indian, Iraqi, Turkish. Great! Big first letter. Chilean, Indian, Iraqi, Turkish. Great! Alright guys, so as you can see in this word, what is, well tell me actually, which syllable did I stress? Can you let me know in the comment section which syllable you think I stressed and which syllable you think I should have stressed, okay? Yes, Sheriff, it's true. In French, there are some letters that we don't pronounce at the end. Very good. Uh, Halid, did I watch all my old videos? Not all of them, but quite a bunch of them, and it was horrible. I was cringing all, with, all the way through thinking, oh, no, oh, oh. <laughs> All right, so maybe you are. Okay, good. So which letter do you guys think we should stress? Which sounds here? Is it E? Is it Ra? 
or is it ki? What do you think? So yes, Sharif, I said Iraqi. I stressed the last syllable. However, we should stress the second one. Iraqi. Iraqi. I think I'm saying it right now. <laughs> okay, but you shouldn't stress the last syllable. This is incorrect. Good one. All right. Hello, Juan David. So you're waiting for me all week. You like the way I teach. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yes, very good, Loli. You have to stress the ra. And yes, Mohammed, I did stress the e sound at the end, which was incorrect. Ngwa, good job. Okay, well done. Very good. So in this case, it didn't prevent people from understanding what I was saying, but a native speaker would have thought, mm, something is off here. It sounds a little bit strange. All right. Yes, very good, everyone. Tamel, Sheriff, Anna, good job. All right, let's move on to the next word. So in this one, we will see a little bit of my little doggy, Winston, who is actually sleeping, sleeping. See, I said that again. I said slipping instead of sleeping. He's sleeping right here and he will be the featured guest in the video. All right. Okay, so Louis saying, yes, it's correct. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Yes, exactly, Halid. When you watch all of the videos, it is a bit strange, but you can correct yourself. Absolutely. It's actually given me ideas on things to do. I was thinking of maybe redoing some of the videos and compare them. I thought that could be quite interesting to have a look at how much my editing skills have improved. I think they have. All right, guys. So, yes, the word here, I'm not going to say it. Let's hear how I said it in the video first, okay? So, here we go with little Winston. So, I am holding onto the leash, the leash. And at the end of the leash, around his little body, is a harness, a harness. But the blue thing is his color. We use the harness because it's more comfortable for him. When we pull, it doesn't pull on his neck. All right, guys, would you like me to repeat to, to play it one more time? So I see some of you are asking what this word means. So obviously this is a necklace, but for the dog, the thing around their neck is called the collar. Collar. Okay, let's have a look and listen to it one more time. <clears throat> so I am holding onto the leash, the leash. And at the end of the leash around his little body is a harness, a harness. But the blue thing is his color. We use the harness because it's more comfortable for him. When we pull, it doesn't pull on his neck. All right, see in this one, it sounds more like color instead of collar. Collar. I know, it sounds very similar. It's, it's a small difference. Um, but this is something that uh, advanced speakers need to work on. Um, those How those vowels are pronounced exactly. Yes, the way I said it, it sounded a bit like color. Color. No, it's color. Color. Because this word is pronounced the same way as colors. It's the same. I know. Weird. <laughs> All right. Good. So let's move on to the next one. But before we move on to the next one, guys, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Let's time to have the thumbs rain. I think I'm going to make a little video just to play when I want you guys to like the video and it's going to be just thumbs raining everywhere. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, absolutely. Tylorutube. Yes, I use the word leash. It's true. It's an American word. My partner who's British uses the word lead. Absolutely. Great comment. Well done. Okay, guys. So our next word after color is the last one. It is this one. I actually corrected myself in this one. And I, I, I wanted to choose this one to show you that when I correct myself in the video, you actually notice the mistake more than if I don't. Although this one is quite a strong one. So let's have a look. Okay, so we have finished, finished? We have finished um, the sausage roll. 
Okay, so we have finished. Finished? We have finished um, the sausage roll. All right, notice how the mistake was so much more visible and noticeable, well not visible, but audible and noticeable because I corrected myself. So, and it stopped me from what I was saying. It kind of, you know, I was halfway through my sentence and boom, I get interrupted. So when you do speak in English, guys, as well, the same applies. If you make a mistake, unless it's a mistake that prevents, um, you know, the, the person you're talking to to understand what you're saying, just go with the flow, you know, chill. <laughs> All right. DJ Taylor. <laughs> All right, so some of you are already saying I should do that little video thumbs, thumbs up thing. I will do it then. Fantastic. Okay, guys. Yes, I said finished. Finished. That is, again, a typical French mistake. Um, we tend to make all of the vowels long instead of short in this case. Finished. Finished. Okay, it's not finished. 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 Very short. Okay. Fantastic, guys. So now we're going to move on to the grammar part of um, my mistakes. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. So what I'm going to do uh, in this, I'm not going to tell you exactly what the mistake is. I'm going to tell you what kind of mistake I made. And then you're going to have to listen to the clip and watch the video, actually, and write down in the comment section what the mistake is. So here again, this is focusing on your listening, so hopefully you can understand what I say, uh, but also on your grammar, see if you can spot little mistakes. And remember guys, when you can correct a mistake, it means that you usually can, you, you can use that grammatical point pretty well. You're, you're familiar with it and you're comfortable with it as well. Okay, fantastic guys. So the first mistake we're going to have a look at is so there's something wrong with plurals in this one, okay? Just so you know, plural problem. But I'm not telling you exactly. So here we go. Listen and write the mistakes. Let's go. Something, something to, to eat, eat. Okay. okay? All right, All right. Good, good guys. guys. So you don't, you don't have anything, anything that is either, either flowers, flowers food, food, or drink, drink on your table. table. You're, You're not, not happy. happy. Mm -mm. All right, let's listen to it one more time. I do speak quite fast. This is an extract from a live, um, and in my lives, I do speak faster than in my regular recorded videos because I want you guys to hear kind of natural pace, okay? That's how I usually speak. Um, so let's listen to it one more time. Something, Something to, to eat, eat. Okay. okay? All right, All right. Good, good guys. guys. So you don't, you don't have, have anything, anything that is either. either. Flowers, food, food or, or drink on your table, table. You're, you're not, not happy. happy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give you guys a little second to think about it. What was the mistake? Um, so there's something related to plural, okay? But can you be specific and let me know maybe which word or which words should have had maybe a plural or not? I don't know. You tell me, guys. <laughs> Evil laugh. <laughs> All right. So ooh, I think uh, I have WhatsApp open. I'm going to close that so we don't get disturbing noises. All right. Let's see who is <clears throat> the first of you guys who can tell me what the mistake was. All right. So Sheriff is writing drinks. Okay. With an S. All right. Um, so... Ingwa said you have no idea. Um, Anna said either only two things. I'm not sure what you mean, but Louis is also saying drinks. Okay, you guys get an echo? How come? That's weird. All right, let me let me play it one more time. Maybe I can I, I think I might know what the problem is. Something, Something to, to eat. eat. Okay. okay. All right, good guys. If you don't have anything that is either flowers food or drink on your table, you're not happy. Mm. Okay, I think I fixed the the, um, the echo problem is because I had the microphone on playing as well. Okay, guys, so yes. Uh, sorry about the echo, guys. That won't be 
there in the next one. Uh, so Nishan is saying food, drinks, flowers. Yes, guys, very good indeed. So here was the sentence. If you don't have either flowers, food or drinks. Okay, very good. Okay. Yes, sorry about the echo, guys. <laughs> I see all of the comments about it. Sorry. But very good, guys. Very good. Fantastic. So the next one is... Uh, uh, have I put it in the wrong order? Yes, okay. The next one is also uh, a problem with plural. Um, so let's listen to it straight away and have a look. Uh, the first one is an activity that I have mentioned before. It's the pronunciation activity called the phone number activity. Uh, it's one of my big, big, big favorite and it was actually uh, Lucy from English with Lucy that gave me this activity when we were working together. All right guys, so this one was a little bit longer. You had to really pay attention. I'm going to play it one more time and see if you guys can tell me what the mistake was. Uh, the first one is an activity that I have mentioned before. It's the pronunciation activity called the phone number activity. Uh, it's one of my big, big, big favorite and it was actually uh, Lucy from English with Lucy that gave me this activity when we were working together. All right, so did you guess it? Did you get the mistake? Okay, yes, Nishan, so be careful you didn't spell it right. Remember, guys, the comment section is a writing practice for you. So try to spell correctly. But yes, the problem is with the word favorite. I said one of my favorites. So that means there's more than one favorite, which is why I need to put it in plural. Well done. So here it was. One of my favorites. So this was an extract from the exact same um, lesson as this one. So that was all from, I think, my second live ever. Um, and as you can see, S's were a bit of a problem for me on that live. <laughs> um, but this is a mistake that I have all, always been aware of. Um, and that is because I just eat the end of my words. So S's tend to disappear. And this is also actually quite a common mistake for Spaniards, um, specifically in the south of Spain, um, because they eat syllables. All right. Uh, 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 um... All right, so most favorite, not quite right, Sheriff, but yeah, the word was favorite, favorites, favorites, good job. Okay, guys, so I think the next one, yes, it's a problem related to tenses. And guys, I think it's part of that exact same live again. <laughs> I guess that live was a bit, was a disaster, wasn't it? <laughs> so Nishan, you're very bad at spelling, so no S at spelling. Um, you know what? Let me tell you something. I am terrible at spelling in any language, French, Spanish, English. Um, you'll notice that I often have typos on my posts, even though I'm constantly checking them using spell checkers. I just don't see the mistakes. Um, and it, 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 it requires a lot of work, really, really, really checking. Um, so I feel you, Nishan, but uh, now is the perfect opportunity to work on it, okay? Uh, so share if you've been you've been lucky to attend this wonderful lives. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so let's play that third mistake from the same live. <laughs> I personally had some foods, and I think I had some flowers. The food I have, I believe, were apples. I personally had some foods and I think I had some flowers. The food I have, I believe, were apples. Okay, so this one might be a little bit trickier to catch um, because I kind of cut my sentence in half and added a few words. Um, but really try to focus, it's more towards the end. Um, listen if 
the tenses match or not, okay? So let's listen to it one more time. I personally had some foods and I think I had some flowers. The food I have, I believe, were apples. Alright, so uh, a lot of you have mentioned the have, the had. So yeah, that, that's the first thing is there's a mix of present, simple, and past simple, I think. So that, 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 that is a bit strange straight away. Um, okay, uh, yes. The food I have, and then you said I was talking in the past, absolutely. Yes, Anna Rita, the have is the problem. Uh, the food I had was apple. Exactly, very, very good, guys. Very good. So that was the one. I believe, uh, the food I had, comma, I believe, were apples. So let me just play one more time now that you're aware of um, what the correct way of saying it is. Um, okay, so remember the food I had, I believe, were apples. I personally had some foods and I think I had some flowers. The food I have, I believe, were apples. All right, good. So I think, yeah, most of you heard that one. The food I had was apple. Um, I said were apple because were apples again. I didn't say the S uh, because apples is in plural. All right, guys. So we have one more video mistake uh, that I'm going to show you now. Um, and this is from... Oh wow, I think it's from, is it my first video? I think it's from my first video or one of the first ones. Um, we've seen another one on my red couch. Um, when I was on my red couch, that was at the very, very, very beginning of when I started making videos. So this is really weird to watch. <laughs> uh, but this, um, this is going to be a very short one. Have a look, pay attention to the possessive pronoun here. Okay, this is very, very, very short. Let's go. Okay, so if you twist someone's arm, that means you're convincing them to do something they actually don't want to do. Like for example, on a Friday night after a very long week, your friends force you, they drag you to a party, but all you wanted to do was actually stay at home, watch your TV, eat ice cream. All right, the extract was actually a little bit longer than I remembered, um, but it, the problem was towards the end. But I think it's it's really difficult to notice it. It's not one of those mistakes that you hear and you're like, oh wow, what did she say? Um, it's it's not natural, but it kind of flows in there. Um, so let's listen to it one more time, guys. Oh wow, sorry, the comments were stopped. Uh, na na na. Okay, so we have some, some comments about my hair now. Uh, Marine, what is my, your natural hair color? So this actually is my natural hair color. The blonde here is coming off. That was from when I bleached my hair after having red hair and then I went to gray hair. <laughs> uh, okay, I always say often... That's okay, you can say often or often. Both are correct, actually. Uh, you have presented that before you moved to your new house. Yes, yes, that was in my old house, absolutely. Uh, why your hair suddenly turned red? So that was, I used to have red hair, guys. I started YouTube with red hair. Um, and I probably will again, because I really miss having red hair. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's funny to see how so many of you are surprised by that red hair when it was actually, you know, the color I started with. So let's listen to it one more time. Okay, so if you twist someone's arm, that means you're convincing them to do something they actually don't want to do. Like for example, on a Friday night after a very long week, your friends force you, they drag you to a party, but all you wanted to do was actually stay at home, watch your TV, eat ice cream. brown hair actually but that was not my real hair color either 
Uh, so I didn't start with red, I started with brown. Yes, and it was pointy like that. <laughs> All right, but let's have a look. Do you know what the mistake is, guys? Did you hear it? Did you, did you hear the mistake? Because I see a lot of you are not commenting that one. Drag, nope, drag is correct. Remember the possessive pronouns. So what are possessive pronouns? My, your, his, her, her, uh, his, her, it's our, your, their. That's the problem. Okay, so I'm gonna play one more time. I think you guys need it again. So let's do it. Let's do it again. And focus. It's at the end. It's towards the end. One of the last sentences. Okay. So if you twist someone's arm, that means you're convincing them to do something they actually don't want to do. Like for example, on a Friday night after a very long week. Your friends force you, they drag you to a party, where all you wanted to do was actually stay at home, watch your TV, eat ice cream. Alright, so I just swallowed water the wrong way. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Alright, so did you hear it this time, guys? Did you hear the problem with the pronoun? <coughs> oh, water went down the wrong, the wrong, the, the wrong pipe. <coughs> oh. Okay, so nothing guys? Are you struggling with this one? Seems seems like it. Alright, I'll give you the answer. I said watch your TV. If I watch my TV, I'm just looking at the object. You watch TV in general. Okay. Yes, sure, if you had it. Staying at home and watching TV. Absolutely. So let's play just one more time so that you can pay attention now that you know what the mistake is. Okay, so if you twist someone's arm, that means you're convincing them to do something they actually don't want to do. Like for example, on a Friday night after a very long week, your friends force you, they drag you to a party, where all you wanted to do was actually stay at home, watch your TV, eat ice cream. Alright guys, so I see some of you were thinking maybe of the ing um, for the verb watching. That's not the problem here, really is the, the possessive. You don't need to watch your TV, you just watch TV in general. Okay, alright guys, so we've finished with my specific mistakes in those videos. Um, once the lesson's over, I will add a link to all of those videos uh, in the comment section, well, in the, in the description, sorry. That way, if you want to watch those videos again and have a look at how different uh, my videos were compared to nowadays, um, that will be the perfect opportunity to do so, guys. Um, so Sheriff is saying... Wait, wait, maybe, maybe we are saying you twisted my arm in that video. Okay, um, you were so calm and relaxed that I, that I video. I assume that I watched your videos. Okay, um, because you sh you don't say watch your TV. You just watch TV. If you watch your TV, you're just looking at the object. You're not actually looking at what is being played on the TV. Okay, guys. So just remember, you say watch TV. That's it, full stop, memorize it that way, next. Okay guys? So now, da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da, we're gonna move on to some common mistakes. Um, so we have a list of different mistakes. I've tried to change from other mistakes that I've covered in previous videos. Uh, but before we start having a look at common mistakes, it is thumbs up time! Thumbs up! Give it a big like to the video! Give it a like, give it a like, do 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 do, give it a like. That should be the new song. <laughs> Alright guys, so make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and as Sergi say, make sure to also share it once we're done. Okay guys, so let's focus on the first one. So I'm going to give you the sentence. There is a mistake in the sentence. It's your turn, guys, to... Well, your turn. It's your job to correct the sentence. So there's a mix here, grammar and vocabulary. I didn't choose one type in particular. It's just a bunch of common mistakes. Let's have a look. A little look. All right, the first one. She had already went to the bathroom. 
Or if you want to say it quicker and contract the had, you could say she'd already she'd already went to the bathroom. So what's the mistake here? What is the common mistake in this sentence? Once you see it, once you notice it, you'll think, oh, that is so obvious. The problem is, this is a type of mistake that even native speakers make. And that kind of mistake is also very common in songs. Um, the type that I can think of is, for example, rap. Um, you hear that kind of mistakes a lot because it's kind of cool at the same time. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, Anna Rita, you've mentioned gone. Okay. What's going on with gone? Yeah, maybe we is also saying gone. All right. Hmm. Gone. Ingwa as well. Yes, guys. Very good. So, very commonly, people use the past simple instead of the past participle. Um, so, here is what it should have been. She had already gone to the bathroom. Okay. Ah, see, Sergi. Here. Um, you don't need... In the bathroom? No, no, we don't need to change that. That was correct. The problem here was our verb. Uh, and it's true. Tylorutube. This is such a difficult name to say. Uh, this is quite a common American thing. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Good. So let's move on to our next mistake. Oh, it's not this one. Ah, what am I doing? Crap. <laughs> I didn't order them. Is it? It's not this one. Sorry, guys. I think I've messed up here. Uh, maybe it's not this one. I'm just going to put all of the white ones so you can start correcting. Sorry about that. <laughs> Is it this one? Yes. So this one should be here. Mm hmm. Okay, so we have all of the sentence. Sorry, I have just messed it up here. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> uh, you can say she already went to the bathroom. Yes, you could. You could. Absolutely. It's, it's a, She had already gone to the bathroom implies that we are comparing that to another moment in the past. Um, but yeah, what you said is correct. Absolutely. Hello, Nazar. Nice to meet you. Okay, so let's have a look. What are the other mistakes here? Oh, nice. You're David. David? 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 Oh, David. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Lord of Thunder. Are you Thor? Um, Hi, Halima. Guys, we have Halima from Blackboard English. How are you? You just missed all of my mistakes. We had a look at my own mistakes. Now we're having a look at more general mistakes. Okay, so yes. Some of you are talking about the word land, okay, absolutely guys. Can you borrow me your book? Ah, this is hurting my ears. Don't say that. This is a very, very common mistake. Many people confuse lend and borrow. There's also loan. I don't particularly like using the word loan. This is a choice. That's just me. Uh, it doesn't mean it's wrong, okay? Uh, but yes, so lend and borrow are very often confused. I'm actually working on a script for a video on that topic. But just a quick reminder, when you borrow something, you receive something that you can use for usually a limited amount of time uh, and the with the consequence that you have to give it back or the same equivalent, okay? Now, um, to... So that was... That was borrow. Now, if you lend, it's basically the opposite. You're giving something to someone that they can use for a specific amount of time, and the condition is that they return it or give you back the same um, equivalent. For example, money. In this case, you don't give back the exact same money, but um, you give back the same amount, the equivalent. Okay, guys? All right. Um... All right, some of you are talking about the dog situation down there as well, down here good hi english vibes nice to see you oh my gosh guys we're 22 wow we're so many today exciting <laughs> okay um so anyway you're you're talking about the word depth which is a noun we don't need the noun in this case because deep is describing breath so it's good we needed the adjective here um 
yes, can I borrow your book? So let's have a look at the correction. Um, I actually went with the other verb, which is lend. Can you lend me your book or can I borrow your book? Let me add that, actually. That, that's a good idea. Let me just add um, a little box with that. That makes sense. So, can I borrow your book? Okay, up. So, yes. Oh, that's very tiny. But I'll leave it like that. Yes, that, that's a really good alternative. Absolutely. Good. Well done. Ah, tac, 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 from your nose. No, we don't have a preposition problem here. Ah, uh, yes, I think you all have the one with the dog. Good. Can I borrow your book? May, I, may yeah, that's fine. Absolutely. This is also correct. <clears throat> all right, so take in a deep breath. Hmm. So the second one, this one, the one with the, the breath, I'm going to focus on it last because it's a more challenging problem to understand. Let's focus on this bottom one first. Two dogs sleep here. It's the dog's bed. Sergi, your apostrophe is wrong. Bye bye, Nishan. Okay, so guys, we have two dogs, right? So the word dog should be followed by the S, dogs. Now, how do we form a po uh, the possessive? You have to add an apostrophe and then the S. The problem is, in this case, it would mean dogs, apostrophe S. So dogs, -z, the dogs, -z. nah, that just doesn't make sense, does it? Nah, okay. So, in this case, we are going to... Oh, yeah, sorry, I thought that was the correct answer. I was going to say, this is wrong, Maureen. What did you do? We are going to remove one of the S's. We're going to remove the last one. So it's going to be dogs with an S and just an apostrophe like this. Two dogs sleep here. It's the dog's bed. Okay, guys, yes, good job. Yes, 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 very good. All right, good job, guys. Dogs, dogs. Yes, the apostrophe can be tricky. Good. All right, so let's focus on the last mistake here. This one's a bit more challenging. Take a deep breath through your nose and hold it. What does it at the end of this sentence refer to? What is it? What is it replacing? Let me know. I want you to think about that. I'll give you a second. You need to tell me because that's what's going to help you figure out the mistake. Oh, I'm out of water. Reusable straws, guys. Save the environment. Okay. So, let's see. Do you know? What is it? What does it remove in this case? What does it remove? No. What does it refer to? So yes, Sheriff, absolutely. When you have a plural word and you want to add a possessive to it, you need to get rid of one of the S's. So get rid of the last one, the one after the apostrophe, okay? <laughs> Halid is saying, people do that when they, when they take drugs. <laughs> okay, so a lot of you guys are saying that it refers to the breath, okay? Okay, it refers to... Well, that's what we think the person is referring in this case. However, grammatically, the it refers to the noun that is before. What is the noun before it? It's the nose. So in this case, you say, take a deep breath through your nose and then hold your nose. That's going to be problematic. You need to breathe, okay? So, let me just explain one more time. When you use a pronoun like this to avoid repetition, okay, it refers to the noun that is directly before it. In this case, the noun before it is nose and not breath, which is why here I could say, take a deep breath through your nose and hold your nose. That's what it means. Exactly, English vibes and lolly, absolutely. This is a common mistake. So really here, I would have to repeat, 
hold your breath if I want it to be understandable. Now, the thing, like I said, guys, it's in my mouth, the thing. And, and you were aware of that, and, and the person who said that sentence, I think I, I took it online because I thought it was a good one. Um, that person who said that sentence probably wanted the it to refer to breath, but it's grammatically, it's not correct. So we should say, take a deep breath through your nose and hold your breath, okay? All right, so good. So Louis, you say you didn't know how to solve that. Okay, well... Now it is, you know how to do it. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for our lesson today. We've almost done an hour. I thought it would go a little bit quicker than that, but um, that was a fun one. I really like this lesson, though it was quite uncomfortable watching myself, I have to admit. <laughs> All right, guys, so before I sign off and say goodbye and everything, Remember, now is the time for you to ask me questions. If you have anything uh, you'd like to ask me, it could be grammar-related, vocabulary, English, or something else, that is fine as well. Um, if I can answer that question on the spot, I will. Now, um, for next class, I was thinking about doing a lesson on abbreviation. So there's different types of abbreviations. You have acronyms, for example, um, where is the first letter of words? Um, you also have some regular abbreviations. You also have some used for texting. So um, let me know if that is a topic that you think would be interesting. Um, we could definitely create a few games uh, on that topic. So I think, you know, that should be quite fun. So just let me know, guys, um, what you think of that as a potential topic. Now, remember uh, this well, I'll let you, I'll remember, remember, I remind you later. Um, there's a B on my left shoulder. Is there? Maybe there's a fly in the house. Don't scare me like that. I'm just going to run around and, you would, you would laugh if there was a, a, a bee in here. Because I would be screaming, ah, absolutely. <laughs> on the yellow flowers? Really? Where? I don't see a bee. Hmm, you guys are scaring me. Stop it. <laughs> um, okay, so Nazar is asking for the next lesson. So I'll tell you in just a second. Make sure you stay posted just a little bit. Okay, so you're all seeing a bee. You're scaring me. Stop it, guys. <laughs> um, mm -mm -mm. Okay, yeah, that's an interesting one, David. Good, okay. Sheriff, you miss Vogue Vlogs. You know, I was actually uh, thinking about filming. I filmed one the other day uh, in the park, but the audio wasn't good because it was a bit windy. Um, but I have been thinking about starting the, the Vogue Vlog series again because it's a bit of a fun thing to do, yeah. Um, Sheriff, I didn't kill a grasshopper. I didn't. <laughs> ah, it's in the print okay all right good <laughs> if you're not already subscribed um yeah you know i've actually used that sentence recently and i was thinking about it it does sound a little bit weird because you subscribe but to be subscribed actually it kind of works because it's a passive voice so if you're not already subscribed make sure you do it now yes absolutely mm -mm. yeah all right guys so um before we move on to the bye bye section uh just make sure to thank you Ingwa, for reminding me make sure that you subscribe to the channel or that you are subscribed to the channel uh but also guys to press the bell button so that should be right next to the subscribe sign uh why because that way you will get a little notification whenever i go live or when i post um a new video so make sure you do that guys make sure you give the video a big thumbs up i really need to make that little thumbs up jingle I will do it. <laughs> and um, and there's one more thing. Uh, yeah, make sure to share the video afterwards um, with other learners or just people who want to have a little bit of fun with English. 
All right, guys. So let's move on to our bye bye. <laughs> so as you know, guys, you can become one of the sponsors of the week. To do that, you just have to buy me a little cup of coffee. And remember, I accept I accept all types of coffee. It can be cold. It can be hot. It can be a cappuccino. I'm easy. No worries. <laughs> to do that, guys, you just have to go to um, www.co fee dot com um, and um, and just do it there and I will also um, to thank you guys give you a big shout out during our Saturday live um, remember on Saturday this is our new meeting we go live um, every Saturday at 11 a.m. for listening practice I have a native English speaker or you know, almost close to, uh, very, very close to native um, with, you know, such a good accent that you would not notice. Um, and we use those to do a listening activity. We focus a little bit on the vocabulary um, because those are based on fables. And we do a little bit of um, listening comprehension in general as well. Um, so, yes. So if you're interested, guys, just check out Coffee. It's my little English page like for everything and you will get my undying love and appreciation as well which is worth millions it is <laughs> all right and then for our next live guys so it is next saturday it's listening and fables um and it is going to be at 11 a.m gmt plus two this week guys is gonna be hard we're going to listen to a scottish accent and honestly it's going to be challenging i have two scottish recordings we're going to do one this week i've actually started chosen to start with the easier one uh but it is still going to be challenging guys um and then um one day very soon i'm not telling you when yet um we might have uh, you know a little guest speaker that is in the comment section right now and who's also a teacher so that would be interesting. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate you guys coming back every week. We have a nice little nucleus of students that come back regularly. And this is really starting to, uh, you know, create a good group. I love that you guys, you know, remember each other. You're starting to know each other a little bit. So I absolutely love that, guys. Again, thank you so much. Um, you know, I appreciate, but honestly, you are doing the best that you can uh, to learn English. And this is by being consistent and persistent as well. So keep fighting, guys. You can get there. Remember, mistakes are normal. They happen. I make mistakes in my own native language, and I'm sure you do too. Don't lie to me. You do too. So, you know, how can you expect to be perfect in another language if you don't even speak your own language perfectly? It's just not possible, guys. Okay? So don't feel bad. Keep your motivation up and keep on learning. Okay? Yes. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so... Oh, yeah, David. I'm not going to read your... your, your YouTube name is too complicated. David, um, which Scotland accent? Okay, so this is a bit of a hard question because um, this was recorded by my father-in-law who I think is from around Edinburgh, I think. But he lived about 30, for 30 years in, in, in Cambridge. So his accent might be... I don't know, maybe a slightly softer version of Scottish. I'm not sure how to define it because, he, like I said, he's been out of Scotland for a while. Now he lives in Scotland again. So the accent is going to be quite an interesting one, I think, guys. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Um, see you on Saturday for our listening practice with a Scottish accent. Don't worry, I will also record it myself in case you struggle too much with the Scottish accent. But at least you'll get to hear it once or twice, um, which, you know, is, is always good because you need to be aware of all different types of accents. OK. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying for so long as well. That's probably one of my longest lives, actually. Uh, and of course, keep on learning. See you next. <laughs>
no, not see you next week. See you this week. See you on Saturday. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Oh, and remember, I am going to add right now all the links to the videos that we have um, had a look at today. So please feel free to have a look. Maybe write a little comment. Oh, let's do a secret message, a secret word for those of you who watch those videos after this this one. Right. Let's find a secret code, guys. Help me. Let's write a a, a code. A, a, a code message to write as a comment. <laughs> I know, David, I always mispronounce Cambridge. I say Cambridge all the time. I don't know why. You're right. See, that's another mistake that I constantly make. Thank you for correcting me, David. You're absolutely right here. And my, my boyfriend, who is from Cambridge, is always telling me Maroon, don't say Cambridge. It's Cambridge. You're right, absolutely right. All right guys, so what secret word should we write in the comment section of the videos that I'm going to post, well not post, but add in the, um, in the, in the description. <laughs> Sheriff is writing Irene's or Marion's. Marion's? You, you, at one point you tried to go with a Marine's army, didn't you Sheriff? Um, it's quite a cool word to be honest. It sounds fun because yes, my name is similar to the Marines um, But I'm, I'm worried. It's a little bit too connected to the military. I think that's why okay, but let's say uh, Oh, okay guys The videos that I'm going to link in the comment section or in the description below um, your secret code is Papalu that's the nickname of my dog, my dog's nickname. <laughs> so if you're motivated, guys, go ahead, have a look at the videos that I'm going to put in the description and type Papalu. All right, okay, I'm officially leaving now, guys. I'm leaving you alone. <laughs> All right, take care, guys, and see you on Thursday, oh, on Saturday. Bye-bye. Take care. Mwah. Papalu. Papalu, 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 papalu.